The J-36 program, as it stands in mid-2025, continues to occupy an ambiguous space between experimental development and strategic signaling. There is no formal acknowledgement from official defense institutions concerning its specifications, deployment timeline, or intended operational doctrine. This absence of confirmation continues to fuel a growing gap between factual knowledge and the speculative ecosystem that surrounds this aircraft. What exists is a combination of industry rumors, unofficial leaks, and narratives that may serve domestic and geopolitical messaging purposes more than technological transparency. The strategic ambiguity surrounding the J-36 appears deliberate. In recent years, efforts have intensified to promote an image of rapid military aerospace advancement. However, the pace at which projects like the J-36 are publicly promoted far outstrips the release of any measurable milestones. There are no disclosures regarding test pilots, mission simulations, data on flight control systems, or the integration of communications architecture with air or ground command assets. Military aircraft programs at the cutting edge of aerospace development typically progress through a well-documented series of phases including concept definition, prototype fabrication, ground testing, low-speed taxi trials, high-speed envelope expansion, systems integration, electronic warfare hardening, and eventually, combat readiness certification. There is no confirmation that the J-36 has passed any of these. Claims of sixth-generation capability continue to dominate discussions, especially in domestic press narratives, which often repeat terms such as AI augmented cockpit, loyal wingman compatibility, quantum-resistant communications, or intelligent stealth skin. These terms sound advanced, but are often disconnected from the current level of technological maturity in those fields globally. For example, even the most advanced nations pursuing similar technologies have only just begun to conduct limited field tests of swarm coordination systems or AI-assisted threat prioritization. For the J-36 to offer such features, it would require the existence of an entire support ecosystem, including advanced software platforms, secure command protocols, machine learning libraries tested against electronic warfare inputs, and redundancy systems to prevent compromise. None of this is publicly verified. The crew configuration, reported to be side-by-side -side seating, further complicates the picture. While this setup may suggest roles involving shared cognitive workload, such as in complex surveillance or command missions, it departs from established norms for stealth fighter design, which usually favor a streamlined tandem cockpit or single-seat layout to reduce radar signature and aerodynamic drag. Such a configuration may indicate the platform is not meant for air dominance or dogfighting missions but instead for extended duration operations that involve information processing, multi-platform control, or standoff engagement from outside contested airspace. Engine configuration presents another major unknown. Reports suggest a three-engine layout, which is uncommon in modern stealth platforms due to the complexity of managing thermal output, fuel efficiency, and maintainability. Unless this system is paired with revolutionary propulsion technology, it would seem to introduce more complications than advantages. Engine-related challenges have historically been among the most persistent bottlenecks in indigenous aviation programs. Delivering reliable, high-thrust, low-signature engines with long mean time between overhaul intervals is extremely difficult and expensive. There is no publicly known engine model from domestic sources that would support a platform like the J-36 without significant compromises in stealth, thrust-to-weight ratio, or durability. Beyond the hardware, software is becoming increasingly central to next-generation air combat. Sensor fusion, real-time data analysis, pilot-assist algorithms, and adaptive mission profiles all require mature digital backbones. Developing these in-house, especially in a closed or heavily firewalled development ecosystem, limits the pace of innovation and cross-validation. While national pride may push narratives of sovereign software systems, the actual performance, reliability, and resilience of these systems under wartime electromagnetic conditions remains untested. Achieving sensor-to-shooter loops within milliseconds, especially across multi-domain assets, requires vast amounts of real-time tested infrastructure, something no open source suggests is active or combat capable within the current development cycle. Furthermore, interoperability with other assets remains a question mark. If the J-36 is intended to be a networked combat node in a larger kill web, it must interface with air, space, naval, and cyber assets across multiple frequencies and protocols. This involves not just stealth but communication stealth, anti-jamming measures, latency control, and encrypted data sharing at extremely high speeds. 
Such capabilities would require next-generation hardware in ground-based relay systems, low-Earth orbit satellites, and other airborne assets. Without confirmation of these support structures, the idea that a single aircraft platform could independently fulfill such roles becomes technically implausible. In terms of doctrine, the integration of a platform like the J-36 into a full-scale order of battle would demand massive retraining of aircrews, redefinition of mission profiles, revision of tactical manuals, and likely the creation of entirely new operational units. No such shifts have been identified through open-source defense reforms or strategic reorganization statements. For a true sixth-generation aircraft, such organizational transformations are essential, not optional. It is not enough to build an advanced airframe, the entire military ecosystem must evolve to support it. One of the least discussed aspects of the J-36 story is sustainability and logistics. Advanced platforms require reliable access to spare parts, specialized maintenance crews, long-term contracts with subcomponent suppliers, and extensive ground infrastructure. These are long lead investments that take years to develop. If the J-36 is intended to be deployed in meaningful numbers, then facilities would need to be constructed or upgraded to accommodate its physical footprint, electromagnetic shielding needs, and software updates. The logistics burden of a heavy stealth aircraft can often outweigh the gains made by its stealth features if the sustainment cycle cannot keep up. At the geopolitical level, the J-36 may be serving more as a signaling instrument than a deployable combat system. By maintaining a constant stream of speculative commentary, its existence supports a narrative of rising aerospace parity, regardless of whether such parity exists in reality. This can be strategically useful for influencing neighboring regions, shifting regional deterrence balances, or justifying continued investment in indigenous high-tech industries. However, there is always a risk that over-reliance on symbolic platforms can divert attention and resources away from more practical, scalable, and survivable technologies. The J-36 currently exists in a domain where its true capabilities, mission, and readiness remain unknown. The surrounding narrative is shaped more by ambition, symbolism, and perception management than by hard, testable data are declared. Strategy. Until this platform is accompanied by clear performance metrics, systems-level demonstrations, doctrinal adaptation, and production roadmaps, it should be understood not as a proven next-generation aircraft, but as an experimental and aspirational concept. The actual performance and value of the J-36 will remain in question unless it is validated through transparent trials and structured military integration.